Hello everyone, welcome again in this tutorial. So today we will talk about the rotary encoder. Okay, this rotary switch encoder, it's, uh, <clears throat> we can use it to control our system. It looks like potentiometer, but actually it's not potentiometer. I guess I have talked about this before. Okay, uh, it's very nice to use it to control, for example, the volume, uh, the sound volume, or if you have like a UI to switch between the menus and all the choices, or you can select your settings on all the things, etc. This one comes with the button, push button, you can press it. Okay, so today we will not talk about how to operate this or how to link this to Arduino. There's a lot of tutorials, even I talked to this before in this uh, channel. So I advise you to go and watch this that video if you haven't seen. I'll try to link in the description down below. But today we will talk about something important. Okay, so the thing is, when we use this encoder, if we just rotate it, it will always give you a constant uh, steps, a constant increment or constant decrement, as we will see in the code later. So in this tutorial, we will learn how to add intensity to the rotation. For example, the the standard one or the standard code will be whenever you rotate, how fast or how slow you rotate, you will always increase your uh, volume or let's say your parameter of all by one or by five or by a, stand, uh, a fixed value whenever you rotate it, whenever it's clockwise or counterclockwise. So in this tutorial, we'll learn how to add intensity. For example, if you rotate it slow, it will be increased, for example, by one. If you rotate it very fast, it will directly increase by 10, 10, 10, not like 1, 1, 1. Okay, so if let's say rotate slow, it will increase by 1. Rotate faster, it will increase the increment to 10. Okay, so stay tuned. We will uh, hook up this to the Arduino and we try to implement these functions. Okay? Okay, hello guys. So uh, we have come to the to the laptop now. So I already hooked up my rotary encoder switch to the Arduino and I have wrote this uh, simple code. This one just to drive the encoder straightforward without any addition. I use this library, okay? And I uh, attach my, uh, these two uh, channels of the rotary encoder to A10, A11. Here I initialize my serial, I use it to debug my code. Then I initialize or start my rotary. Okay. Then here I use the what uh, what is called the PCI, the pin change interrupt. Okay, to detect my uh, this the changing of my rotary. So this is to activate the PCI interrupts on pin number eleven and ten. In loop, I will do nothing because. I will do most of the job will be in the uh, ISR, so the lobe is nothing. Uh, so first, I will assign uh, this uh, a object. You say objects for the results, which is equal to R dot process. So if result is equal to direction clockwise, I will bring clockwise. If direction equal to counterclockwise, I will bring counterclockwise. So let's upload this. Okay, good. Then open. So now I will rotate it clockwise. There we go. You can see. If I rotate counterclockwise, there we go. So clockwise, counterclockwise, counterclockwise. Now let's say I want to add some uh, var variables to be controlled by this rotary encoder. Uh, let's say I have integer x equal to zero. I want to control this the increment of this uh, variable. So I say if I rotate it clockwise, I will increase the x. If I rotate it counterclockwise, I will decrease the x. Okay. And then I'll just print it out. Let's print out uh, the, 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 the variable to see. Print out x, and same goes to here after I 
decreased in the counterclockwise. Okay, so let's upload. Done. Good. Okay, so now when I rotate the encoder clockwise, you see, I'm increasing by one. You see, increasing the value of x by y by one. So even though if I now rotate, I'm um, slow, and now I rotate very fast. You see, very fast now I rotate it. It still increased by one. Now I will decrease it. You see, and now I decrease it very slow. It's decreased by one. Now I decrease very fast. See, it's still decreased by one, increased by one. How can I add intensity to this function? For example, if I rotate clockwise slowly, yes, it will increase by one. If I rotate like faster, it should increase by 10. Uh, with this, I will use the millis to time the transition between the, the the steps of the encoder. I have already explained this actually in details previously when I explain uh, how to use press and hold function of the push button. I will exactly use the same uh, the same logic here. Okay, but I will use it for uh, this rotary encoders. Okay, so first of all, I will define my variables here. So let's define hash. I'll use the pre-processing techniques. So uh, let's say do, 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 rotate, fast rotate, fast rotate. If fast rotate, I expect it to be, let's say, one millisecond. Then, I should define a slow rotate. Slow rotate, of, let's say, 15 milliseconds. Then, I need to define the <laughs> the fast mm, let's say fast change I, mean, I don't say like increment or decrement i say fast change uh, if it's fast i want it to be uh, let's say 10 and hash define i will define the slow change will be um, yeah only one okay so these two will be used for timing if within this time will be considered as fast if about one millisecond if more than well if more than 50 millisecond will consider slow and if it's fast <clears throat> if it's fast it will increase by 10 if slow increase by one uh, also, I need uh, another variable. This variable will be hold the, the millis, so definitely will be very lengthy data inside, will hold very lengthy data. So I will declare it as n sign uh, long, uh, what's called, uh, rotate time. Rotate time. Okay. Rotate time. Okay. So these are the variables that I might use it. So now I will come to my code. Uh, Still compiling. Okay, no problem. No problem. Okay, <laughs> so I'll come to my code. Uh, I'll start with this, with the uh, uh, clockwise. So if it's clockwise, what I will do for sure, I will not use this. So uh, let's just get on. So I will check if if the millis. If the current millis minus 
the rotate time minus this one rotate time let's take a copy otherwise okay minus this is more let's add more brackets with this value okay which is the current millis minus the rotate this one later we will assign another value for it so if this one is more than the more than the slow more than the slow so i need to increase the x increase the x by the slow uh, increase the x by slow so plus equal this okay if the current milli is minus the uh, rotating time is more than the slow so it mean this is the slow because it's more than the slow so this is slow else if the millis minus the rotate time is not if not more than the slow but is more than the fast uh, sorry fast mm, bracket here and bracket here I forgot that bracket there okay if not then is mean this is fast so my x will be increased by fast change slow change fast change because it's one more than fast okay so let's test out this uh code before that i need to add okay so this is if it's fast or slow then i need to register the uh, rotate time so the rotate time is equal to millis okay should be okay now let's check it out hmm takes time to compile i guess something wrong with my computer today <laughs> okay it's compiling now hopefully it won't take time okay good thanks good good okay so now let's test it out a moment of truth so i will rotate clockwise slowly okay here we go see now slowly i rotate it see is increased by one now i'll try to increase it fast you see 14 24 34 44 54 then increase by one you see now slow 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 now i increase i i will go faster 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 there we go you see increase by 10 increase by 10. if i go slowly slowly only one but if I go like fast, 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 there we go. See the increment. Now the counterclockwise, the counterclockwise for sure, even though I go slowly or very fast, it's still the same because we haven't done the coding for the counterclockwise yet. So the counterclockwise exactly is the same. So I just need to copy this, 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 and this. Yep. And pasted uh, yeah, here minus. Okay, so here I need to change the plus to be minus. 
and plus here to be minus okay let's upload so again it's very straightforward very easy i hope you can get it uh and understand it so now i will rotate clockwise slow see this is slow now i will rotate fast see fast it will jump by 10 slow will jump by one now i will decrease it or counterclockwise it slowly see it's decreased by one now i will decrease it fast you see one 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 now i'll decrease it very fast you see it's decreased by 10. see decrease by 10. decrease by 10 decrease by 10. if you go slowly sometimes for example you have function you want to fine tune your value you just rotate slowly and gently this is one to fine tune your value but no if your value for example now the current value is 80 but your target you want to achieve for example uh, let's say 500 then for sure we need to rotate very fast very fast to reach the 500 if you maintain your increment only to one if you want to go down <laughs> from 500 to let's say 100 it will take forever you see can you imagine it's decreased by one but now with faster uh this decrement you can just rotate few rotation faster then you can reach your 100 and for sure you can add more uh value to the fast and slow change to even uh, get more uh, intensity to your rotation if you take it fast if you take it fast or take it slow okay so again we need to define these two variables to define the time in milliseconds this is the time in millisecond here also is a time millisecond these are the change whether is plus or minus these are the changes okay uh, then we just after we we come here we need to check whether the milli is minus the rotating time is more than the slow I mean okay the slow we need to uh, process the slow changes whatever is plus or minus and if the milli is minus the rotate time is more than the fast then it mean we need to process the fast okay so yeah I don't forget to add this also to record the times so I hope you have learned something from this very fast tutorial. It's quite useful. I use this uh, in my current projects. It's really quite useful uh, because I can add intensity to my uh, UI user interface. So the user no need to keep uh, increasing the volume or increasing the setting like by one, whatever has been rotated, can rotate faster to achieve a higher target and also rotate slow if it's one to fine tune so thanks very much and hope you have learned something anything please let me know in the comments i will reply you as soon as possible thanks and enjoy your time